Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing GameCube. We have got quite a few things to do today, but we are one day behind because sadly I had computer issues, but we should be all up and running now. So we are, it is, what day is it? It is Saturday. We have a bunch of stuff to sell. We have an upgraded Nook's Cranny. Hopefully, if he's opened, we have a new shop to explore. We have a bunch of stuff to sell, mail to collect, the usual chores, and see if we bump into anyone new. So the first thing we have to do, we really have to go and check out if Nook's Cranny is upgraded. And by the way, it is not raining. Finally, we have some sunshine again. It's been practically raining every single day since we started this town. Um, okay, so let's have a look. Oh, here we go. Nook and go. Awesome. <laughs> so we do have an upgraded Nooks and it didn't wipe out any of the flowers. Interesting. So we've got a bunch of stuff to sell. Oh, we don't want to sell the beetle because we need to donate that. So we're just going to... Oh, look, a ladybug. We'll have to come back and catch you. Don't go anywhere. Let's check out the new shop. Welcome, do come in, have a look around, feel free to browse, yep, the usual saying, are you going to tell me about your upgraded shop or? Awesome, so we get two kind of main kind of spotlight items, two outfits, a bunch of flowers and lots of tools as well, so our axe is going to break soon, so we could buy a new axe, but it's so nice to see an upgraded Nook's Cranny. And hopefully it means at the end of the month when we get to use our raffle tickets, he might have more prizes. I don't know. So, okay, let's get rid of some things first. I guess he's not really going to shout too much about his new shop. I thought he would. Um, very well then, show me what you've got. Okay, we want to get rid of the green bar shirt was not very nice. Get rid of the bit of paper and the peaches. Skip over. And the, of course, these are duplicate fossils, so we can get rid of those. If I add it up, my price comes to 6,370 bells. Will you sell? Yes, please. And of course, in the previous episode, we had good luck from Katrina. And we managed to get something like 50 or 60,000 bells from the Money Rock. So we paid off a whole chunk of our debt as well. So let's have a look at the carpets. What have we got here today? The birch flooring. It's very nice. Would you like to see it? Yeah, go on then. Uh, I'm not too fussed about that. It does look cool though. Never mind. And let's have a quick look at the wallpaper. That's a stately wall. Ooh, sounds expensive. 2,400. No. We'll pass on that for now until we've got a bigger house, I think. Okay, so. Hmm, do we want the eight ball shirt? I feel like that's too classic not to get. I'll try it on. Oh, yes. <laughs> That looks very nice on you, and just feel that material. It's only 340 bells. Uh, yeah, we definitely have to buy that, I feel like. We, we do an updated outfit. Oh, of course, we get raffle tickets for the clothes as well. So we need to save up all the raffle tickets. Ready? There we go. Looking cool. And also, this barrel is cool. But we might have to come back later and buy some of these things. Uh, let's go see how the villagers are doing. Thank you, do come again. I look forward to seeing you. I look forward to coming back. I love the fact that, oh, of course, we've got a whole bunch of stuff to sell outside still that we couldn't carry in the first place. <laughs> um, oh, no, we're not going to fit it all. We're going to have to sacrifice a peach. Have a, have a tasty treat. You deserve it. <laughs> okay, we'll get rid of these. Maybe buy some flowers, and maybe we can start planting some flowers in other areas of town. Yes, yes, what can I do? I'd like to sell. Very well, show me what you've got. Um, do we get rid- yeah, we'll get rid of the denim shirt as well. All the bits of paper. I think we might as well get rid of our axe. Uh, no, let's not waste it. We'll keep our axe until it breaks. We haven't seen one break yet, so... 1,200 bells and two bells. Where did the random two bells come from? <laughs> Thanks very much. Tell me, is there anything else you wish to sell? No, thank you. Good luck with your shop. I hope the villagers like it. Lots to choose from. I guess now that we have to keep buying a whole bunch more stuff to try and lock the next shop. Okay, is anyone around here today? Everyone seems to be... Missing. <laughs> Copper, anything's going on? 
Good day to you. Well, aren't we a busy little bee buzzing to and fro? Commendable behavior. Tell me, how can Officer Copper be of assistance? Any goings on? You ask about goings on. Here we go. The tension is building. <laughs> Well, on July 19th, the police station will be running a VIP campaign, Bust Illegal Parkers Again? Maury, I hope you have not been involved in any sort of illegal parking activity whatsoever. Ah, you don't even own an automobile, do you? I must beg your pardon. Oh, so Gracie's coming back on the 19th? So what's that? On Monday? So we have another chance to unlock some awesome Gracie furniture on Monday. Which will be tomorrow, actually, because we're going to have to skip a day to reset. Oh, no, I've just remembered. The turnips. Right, let's get rid of this ball away from the sea. Because we don't want to kick it anywhere so we lose it in case someone asks for it. Right, we need to head back to our house, get our turnips, and see how much Tom Nook is going to give us. Because this is the last day that we can sell our turnips. Otherwise, they go rotten and we lose them. So we need to do that before we forget, because it is Saturday, and then tomorrow, Joan, the turnip seller, will be back again to offer us some more turnips. So we've got 20 turnips. For those that haven't seen yet, this is our ridiculously busy, cluttered house. But we will decorate soon, as soon as we have more space and or another room. Right, oh, let's check the bulletin board while we're here. Oh, I have a great present for whoever finds it. It's a pitfall. It's somewhere in one of the one acres. So if you find it, it's yours. Oh, awesome. So one of the one acres. Ah, oh, so it's one of these down the left-hand side. Okay, dare we ask Tom Nook how much he will give for our turnips. Welcome, do come in, have a look around. Tell me how much your turnips are. Other things, and as far as other things, this is all I have to offer. Turn it, oh, here we go. Please be good. So, no. No. Today, I'm buying turnips at 77 bells per turnip. Yes, yes. What can I do for you? Uh, we're going to have to sell, otherwise we lose them. Oh, so we have lost like 20 bells per turnip. That is not good. If I add it up, my price comes to... Oh, wow. 1,540 bells. Okay, we're going to have to save some money and buy some more tomorrow. And hopefully, make some money on the turnip so we can pay off our debt. I can't believe we lost it. It was going up every day until today. Right, is anyone home? Everyone must be indoors. It's finally sunny outside and everyone's at home. Savannah, how are you today? Good day, Maury. Have you dropped by for afternoon tea with me? Uh, yeah, if there's, if there's some going spare. Oh, unfortunately, there's not enough for what up. Oh. Next time, okay. So you must have had some reason to come see me, right? Uh, any, anything, any jobs going? Really, you don't mind? In that case, could you take these clothes to Ellie? I knitted them, oh, she knitted them in my spare time, but I haven't had a chance to deliver them. But you can do it for me, can't you? Definitely, we will take that over. Good luck, Maury. I'm sure you'll do your best. We absolutely will. Love in this house, by the way. We need some music. Okay, so... We need to find Ellie. Is she going to be home? Oh, we didn't buy any flowers. No, don't go inside. Wait for me. Ooh, snazzy. Just gonna take a nap quickly. Don't mind me. Ellie. Maury, hi there. I've been coming into my house quite... Oh, you've been coming into my house quite often recently, huh, wee one? So, you... Uh, I don't think so. I think this is the first time. So, you must have had some reason to come and see me. Yeah, we've got a delivery for you. Here is some clothes from Savannah. Oh, these are the clothes from Savannah wanted me to give me. Hang on a sec. I'll try them on. Oh, wow. Polka dots. How do I look? Wow, I really love this outfit, we won. This time, your reward is... Oh, 204 bells. Well, may as well get straight to the point and give the bells. I hope I can count on you whether I need your help in the future. Mm. You certainly can. Okay, so where should we go? 
Cube, still wearing the default outfit, I see. Maury, it seems like you normally come talk to me right about this time. Hey, no, it's not like I mind or anything, dude. Knock yourself out. Um, what's up, dude? I need work. We need money. We need bells. Oh, if only you'd gotten here sooner. I have had... Oh, sorry. I'll try harder next time. Okay, so get rid of the weeds as and when we see them. Pippi, are you okay? Whoa. Hey, wait up a second. Where are you going? By gum, I'm making it my business, little hair. Sneaking around like that with a wicked little grin on your face. You're up to something. I can just tell. When you do anything, you better let me know first. Okay, well, I guess you don't like have to, but it sure would be funny for me. Anyway, what's up, little hair? Do you have any work for us, Pippi? I do have something. No, I'm lying. I don't. I'm sorry, but I don't. Uh, but I don't. Sorry about lying. Oh, that's okay, Pippi. We forgive you. Um, uh, let's see. Oh no, the tree. Let's get rid of the tree. It didn't grow. Must be too close to the pond. Oh, this one's growing though. Did our tree? Oh yes, this one's growing as well. Oh, no. Ooh, oh, finally! A f oh, a folding chair! We'll take it. Take every furniture we can find. Okay, so, is there any... Oh, was that a weed hiding behind the tree? Sneaky. Okay, any other villagers out and about today? Who have we got near us? Oh, Tybalt lives up here. Let's see if he's out. Tybalt! Why are you ignoring me? Hey, hey, sup? <laughs> oh, yeah, really? Cool. Uh, wah. <laughs> oh, oh, you probably want something, don't you? What is it? We need some jobs, please. Well, don't sweat it if you're not motivated, but if you have time, any chance you could find... Why do they keep asking for fruit that we don't have? <laughs> I haven't snacked out on a pear in so long, and now that's all I can think about. Well, I'm sorry, man. It's going to be a little longer. Oh, hello. Lee, how are you doing? Ah, konnichiwa. Not bad, eh? I've been studying Japanese recently, cutie. Cool, huh? Mori, if you ever want to study with me, just say the word. Anyway, what's up? I want to study. Let's study Japanese. But do you have any work? I do have something. Oh, they're all lying to me today. Right, we probably should check our mail because we sent a bunch of letters to villagers in the last couple of days. So hopefully, we even sent some fruit. Willio! Hey, good afternoon! I'm absolutely wired today. How about you? You peppy, you jolly, bizarre. Oh, is that right? Great, all right, cool, yeah, rad, killer, super sweet, awesome, keep it up, bizarre. <laughs> hey, so what can I do for you, Maury? I need work, come on, Willio. Uh, I can't think of anything. If something pops up, I'll be sure to let you know. Noisy cicada. Hello, Pearl, did you just... I swear you were up here a second ago. Okay, so we need to go to Able Sisters because everybody somehow has missed it when we went into Able Sisters the first time. But we have gone into Able Sisters before. Hi there, come on in. Welcome to the Able Sisters where you are the famous fashion designer. So far, we do not have many outfits and everyone in town is wearing this default outfit. I feel like we should change it, but I have no idea what we would change it to. Um, Sable, how are you? I'm too busy right now, I'm sorry. Oh, talk to me. Oh. I'm, um, Mabel, um, can't take care of this customer for me. What, sis? I'm busy too, you know. Patience, just, just a little patience. Okay, sorry to bother you. Um, I think, I think maybe we will come and design a shirt tomorrow. That will give us something to do. That will be our task for tomorrow. Our task today is to... Do some chores, if anyone has any, and make some money to pay off some of our debt. Because we're in a lot of debt with Nook still, and we need an upgraded house. We need more space. OK, 
Okay, where are the animals? Oh, this is our money tree. It is taking a long time to grow, I have to say. Anyone visiting the plaza? No, let's see if the wishing well is happy now we've planted trees up by the dump. What errand do you have at the wishing well of Moriland? Um, how are things? In areas where there is very little green, a feeling of despair overshadows all else. Go to acre B5, see what's amiss. B5. So this top corner of the town needs more trees. Right, let's give this beetle to Blazers before we forget. I'm sure he'll be ecstatic to receive it. Oh, hmm. Swag, what time is it? Oh, I'm sorry, very sleepy. Oh dear, I have a thousand pardons. So terribly sorry. I'm afraid I'm a bit of a night um owl, yes. Yes, well, by the by, might there be something with which I can assist you? I want to donate this beetle. Splendid! What no doubt prizes item might you have for us today? Um a dynasty beetle! Ah, oh yes indeed, that's a dynasty beetle, if I'm not utterly mistaken. No, no, that's not necessary, please. I must insist we leave it in the container. Protocols, you see. I have to say, I'm not overly fond of insects. I quite simply do not like touching them. Black. They're called beetles, what? The lugs of the insect world. Insects with armor plating their backs, you know. Their armor, it opens up, revealing wings, featherless wings, which they use to fly. It's really quite unnatural. Then there's that thin membrane like covering their heads connected to their bodies. Most foul. Who? but I digress. You have our deepest, most profound gratitude. Might there be anything else you wish to donate? Uh, not at the moment, but we do have some fossils that we haven't picked up from our mailbox uh, yet. Uh, oh, of course, there's a whole art gallery as well. And we haven't found any art yet. But there might be some at the end of the month in the raffle. And maybe Red will see, stop by and see us at some point. Ooh, Jewel Beetle. Um, right. Ooh, could this be the pitfall? Uh, let's see. Because it's in one of the one acres. No, it's a fossil. Let's search for the pitfall. While we try to hunt down some more vid- Oh, a camper! Yes, I love camper. Who's it going to be? Who's this? Curly! <laughs> What's up? How's the afternoon shaping up out there? It better be good, because I've got stuff to do. My name's Curly, and let me just tell you, when I go camping, I go out, baby. All out. It's good to meet you, but I definitely advise you not to try and compete with my camping skills. Peace. Okay, Curly, you got to- Play some games or something. I want to. I want some of these uh, items here. Can we get? Can we win some items? Hey, how? Uh, hey, are you here to go hardcore mountain climb with me? Absolutely. You're kidding. No one ever wants to go with me. Um, actually, I don't have enough climbing gear for both of us. Yeah, that's the deal. So why don't we play a game instead? Definitely. I'm sorry for playing a game. Hopefully, we can win some camping gear. Great. I need a little entertainment. Now, here's what I'll do. I have some pictures of some fish I caught before, but I also have pictures of fish caught by professional anglers. I want you to try and figure out which is which. If you get it right, I'll trade with... Oh, he's going to take the folding chair. I'll trade your folding chair, but if you get it wrong, I'll get your folding chair for free. Ooh, so do you want to... Sh yeah, show me the photos. Go on then. Take a look at these photos. Aren't these some beautiful fish? Here's a salmon. This is a blue gill. This is a string fish. And this is a beauty. This beauty is a large char. So, smarty pants, which of these fish did I catch? Oh, I don't know. I mean, string fish is rare. Large char is rare. Salmon is rare. Blue gill is the most common. And I think. The least likely a professional angler would catch. You said blue gill, right? You think I caught a blue gill? I wish I had, but I have. Oh, looks like that folding chair is mine. No, my lo I thought my logic was sound. Right on. Okay, we haven't got any more furniture. Um, can we play a game that doesn't involve taking my furniture? Yes, I've been waiting for someone to show up. I want to climb the summit of Mount Moriland, but I can't find a trailhead. Do you, do you know where it is? Yeah, it's past the train station right the back, out of view. 
<laughs> you don't? Oh, I guess I'll have to keep looking. Can we play a game, please? Yes, I've been waiting for someone to show up. Camping is fun and all, but it's a lot more fun when you've got someone to hang out with. So why don't we play a game? Yes, this can't involve furniture because we haven't got any on it, so... Great, I love playing camping games. Okay, here are the rules. I have some photos of animals. I took these photos myself when I was camping, but some were taken by a professional photographer. If you can guess which animals I took pictures of when I was camping, you get a prize. But if you're wrong, then I get all the money. Whoa! <laughs> Do you want to play? <gasps> no, no way. We've got way too much money on us. Whatever you say, I guess this camping trip won't be as fun as I had hoped. Oh, I'm sorry, Curly. We're going to ditch the money. We're going to just ditch the money. There's no way we can lose 30,000 bells. Let's try again. You, I, I, I'll happily lose 4,000. Curly. Yes, I've been waiting for someone to show up. I want to climb the summit of Mount Moriland, but I can't find the trail. Okay, yeah, we've been through this. You don't? I guess we'll have to keep looking. Can we play a game? Um. Oh no, play a game. Okay, we'll try one more time. Yeah, it's fun. Yes, hang out with me. Let's play a game. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. I want to win some camping gear. Great, I love playing camping games. Here are the rules. I have some photos of animals. I took these photos myself when I was camping. But some were taken by a professional photographer. I, I don't think I've ever played this game before. I don't remember um, pictures. It's normally like a card game or a dice game. But if you're wrong, I get all the money you have. Okay, we, we can afford to lose 4,000. Sure. Yes, now let's... Okay, what animals? Uh, I have four photos. One a bear, one of a moose, one of a wolf, one of a seal. Which one of these photos was taken by me? I, I, I'm getting drawn to the moose. You think I took a picture of the moose? Ah, I guess you don't know that much about photography or camping. I don't even know where to find a moose. Oh, no. Of course. Of course it would have been the bear. You're camping in the woods, there's going to be a bear. Oh no, all of our money. <laughs> Curly, you conned me. Oh, a deal is a deal after all. What? Did he, what, how did we get a prize? Kitty wall, no way. I, I was settled for the kitty wall. Uh, I didn't realize he was gonna give us a prize. We can live with that. Okay, could this be the money rock? This always seems to be the money rock. No, not today. I think we'll come back and play some games in a little bit, but we need to find some villagers. Snooty, are you home? No, she is not. Let's see. We haven't found the pitfall yet either. Um, oh, this has got to be it. Yay! Check it out, I dug up a pitfall. The question is, are we going... Oh, I missed the hole. Are we going to be cruel enough to put an animal in? Because that's just harsh. I feel like if the next animal that is angry to us, they're going in the pitfall. Be warned, villagers. Wow, I'm very bad at aiming this shovel. Okay, let's go check out our mail. Um, grab that. Oh, we can only take two letters because we haven't mailed... Oops. We could probably get rid of this one because that's going to be pretty much the same. Okay, so let's see. I think we'll have... Oh, we've got a present. Oh, no, we don't. Tom Nook. Oh, renovation notice. Thank you so very much for your business. It was my pleasure to announce the complete store renovation. Come enjoy our wider selection of product. Nook and go. So he didn't want to brag about it in person, but he was he, he was proud of it enough to send a letter. Um, so what have we, another dinosaur egg. Wow, we've, and a dinosaur track. We've had some serious dinosaur eggs. Okay, what is this last one? A T-Rex, oh, a torso. I can't remember what one of the T-Rex we already have, but we do have 
Maybe it is the torso already. Okay, let's... Whoops. Oh, no, go in the door. Okay, Pelly. Oh, what? Who's mailing letters? Two already? That's fine. At least we'll get to see Pete because we've got three letters to send to the museum. Ah, yes, I see. Would you like to mail more letters? Yes, please. Ah, yes, I see. Would you like to mail more letters? Yeah, the last one. And this will be enough for Pete to come and collect the mail. So it's always nice to see Pete. Um, thank you. See you later. Of course, we get to see Pete flying off here, but I'm pretty sure we can see him at some point at our mailbox, but I don't know when. Bye, Pete. Hopefully see you delivering some mail soon. Okay, we need to go and investigate if... Which... Whoa! Oh, yeah. More mail! Woolio. Huh? Maury, are you nuts? That letter made absolutely no sense. I opened it up, all pumped, and it was a huge letdown. I got psyched for nothing. Peace out, Woolio. <laughs> wow, savage. Snooty, I simply wasn't able to comprehend the meaning of your bizarre letter. It might help to use easier words. I can't be bothered to look up every word you write. Bye for now, Snooty. Oh, I guess we're not going to get any presents from them. Okay, so let's open up our presents. Dinosaur track. Dinosaur egg. And T-Rex torso, which may also be a duplicate. I can't remember if it was the tail. I think it was the, it was either the tail or the torso we already have donated. So we're going to have to go and check that out before we sell these. But this will give us a good chance to get some money back. And maybe we can play some more camping games. Because you can win a bunch of camping items like the sleeping bag and stuff like that. It's really cool. Don't mind me, Blathers. Just going to sneak past you. Go and have a look at the fossil expedi expedition. Where's the T-Rex? Oh, is it this? Is it this one? Oh, no. The Apto Torso. Plessio. Ah, oh, no. Stego. <gasps> the T-Rex tail. So we have the torso. Excellent. That's such a relief. The T-Rex the is the coolest one. What time is it? I'm so very sleepy. I've got a, a really cool fossil for you, Blathers. Take this. Take this. Um, It's the T-Rex torso. There we go. How about that? Oh, I say a T-Rex torso. The day the remaining pieces of our prehistoric puzzles are found will be a joyous one indeed. Good luck to you. You have our deepest, most profound gratitude. No, I'm going to go sell these remaining fossils. See ya. We may as well head down. Oh, we haven't found a glowing spot yet either. Pick up some shells and we can sell those at the same time. Whoop, whoop. There we go. Pick up the shells. How much pocket... Oh, that's enough. And then all the way back up to Nook and Go now. Not Nook's Cranny. So that's really exciting. So every day we're going to have much more items to choose from, which is really awesome. Welcome. Do come in. I've got something to sell. Yes, yes. What can I do for you? I'd like to sell... All these. And what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the fossils as well. Because I have a theory. The reason we keep getting duplicates is because I'm mailing old fossils. So fossils we found the day before. So tomorrow, when we come to mail fossils, I'm only going to mail the fossils that we find on that day. And hopefully... That increases our chance of getting fossils we haven't got yet. I, I don't know if this, that's true or if there's any logic there, but it seems like a reasonable thing. Okay, we need to buy some flowers, Nick. That's a red tulip bag. Yes, please, I'll take that. 
And I'll take this one. A white pansy? Uh, yes, please. And I'll also take this one. Don't care what it is. A white cosmos! Steal at that price. Yes, please. And also, we're going to take this tree. A sapling, 60... Uh, I don't like spending, but we've got quite a lot of money. Because we should just use the, the peaches just to plant new trees. Because it's cheaper. Right, let's plant some flowers around the villager's house. And then that way they might warm to us and give us lots more work. <laughs> oh. And then we're going to go to B5, which is the acre below the dump, and plant this sapling to hopefully please the wishing well, the mystic wishing well, into thinking there is finally enough green in the acre. Okay, are we in uh, B5? Yes, so there's quite a lot of mud patches, and apparently the trees don't grow in the mud patches. I don't know if that might be too close to the bush as well. Hmm. Where would be the best place? I think this is our only place. There we go. Excellent. That's good. Surely that will grow there. Right, now let's go and play some camping games. We might have to pick some furniture, sacrifice some furniture from our house in hopes of... Uh... I think we're going to have to sacrifice the sign, sacrifice the desk. And hopefully that will... Anything else we could get rid of? Hopefully that will prompt some games and we can win some camping stuff by sacrificing some furniture. Okay, oh, we better check there's no other bulletins, actually. No, just the aerobics, which I'm really looking forward to. Starts next week. We'll have to get up super early and go to aerobics. Okay, Curly, let's play some games. Curly. Oh, no, I've come with all the money again. Uh, sure. That's the deal. Why do we play games? As long as it doesn't involve the money, we're going to have to ditch the money. <laughs> Great, I need a little entertainment. Now, what do we do? I have some pictures of fish I caught. Okay, so we have to figure out which picture of the four Curly took. So, let's see. I get your school desk for free. Okay, you can take the school desk. That's fine. We can always order another one. Okay, we've got to get it right this time. Uh, they're the same fish. Salmon, bluegill. So, it wasn't the bluegill last time. So my next logic is we're going to go for the salmon because I don't know why. <laughs> you said salmon, right? You think I caught a salmon. I wish I had, but I... No! Okay, let's ditch the money so he can't steal the money. And then let's try again. Come on, we need to win some, some something cool. Okay, of course, let's just play games. Let's just sit in here and play games all day. Yes. Great, I need a little entertainment. Now, what should we do? Here's some pictures. This Curly is obsessed with fish. Okay, so... I mean, I don't know. Is it changing every time? Okay, which one of these fish did I catch? Large char. You said the large char. You think I caught a large char? I... No! Looks like that speed sign is now mine. Oh, no. Yes, let's play a game. So it's got to be, unless it's changing every time, which will really suck. Um, it's got to be the string fish. Now, here's what we'll do. Have some pictures of the fish, yep. Why why change it up? There's no point. If it works, it works. Here we go. Oh, no, not the kitty wall. Okay, we'll risk it. We'll gamble it. It's got to be the last one. String fish. You think I caught a string fish? No! No, no, no. I can't believe we're having some serious bad luck. 
Oh, he hasn't brought his fishing gear. Give me a little advance notice next time. Your loss. Can I? I want the cooler. Give me the cooler. Oh, hey, what's up? Are you joining me for some fishing? Maybe. Oh, I was planning on going fishing on this trip. I'm actually thinking of trying some. Okay, but you didn't bring your fishing gear. Okay, one last time. One more game. No, no fishing. Uh. Okay, Curly. Maybe we'll play again later. We need to find our money rock. Oh. Yeah, nope, that was too easy. It would be too easy. Um, where are all the rocks? I think they're over, there's some this side. There we go. Can't get the full um, amount of money out of that the rocks that are next to bushes. Oh, here we go. We can't plant a tree there anyway because it's next to the pond. But we'll take the bells. Are you okay, are you okay Pippi? Oh. Who's that? Is that Tybot going in or out? Here we go. Huh? You again? Hey there. Tell me, Maury, what's new? Uh, let me help. Man, I'm obsessed. Uh, oh yeah, of course he wants a pair. We don't have a pair. Nope. Okay, I have a feeling it's gonna be the one that's down here above the river. going to be this one. I, I can tell. No! Buzz, how you doing? Don't be grumpy, otherwise you're going in a pitfall. Well, if it isn't my neighbour Maury, my, my. Loafing about as usual this afternoon, are we? Looks like it to me, Captain. Don't you have a job, Captain? You really should go get one. Hey, why are you even talking to me, Captain? Uh, I need some work. I'm trying to get a job. Nothing, I've got nothing. Nada, zero, zip, zilch. Sorry, but I try uh, Try again later, Captain. Okay, that we will. We will try later. Willio, how are you? Oh, Pearl, we haven't spoken to you today. Why, it's Maury. How are you this fine day, kitten? Are you eating properly? I have you know that I recently gave up on my diet. Yes, I'm not ashamed, though. I mean, honestly, it's my own loss if I ruin my body, right? And besides, I'm cute enough as I am. Right, kitten? By the by, did you need something? Uh, d yeah, I need a job. My, my, everybody just loves doing me favours. Since you offered, I do have something I want to do. So tell me, have you met Cube, you know, about yay high, somewhat of a, on the stinky side? How dare you accuse Cube of being stinky? He's a penguin. I lent that poor dear my Game Boy quite a while ago, expecting a prompt return. But despite waiting all this time, I still haven't got the foggiest idea when I might get it back. Could you be a lamb and go find when I might expect it back? Oh, sure. You've heard my request. Run along now. Yes. Absolutely. I'm on my way. Okay, hopefully Cube's at home. I can't believe she said he was stinky. Oh, Cube, this is your house? Are you in your house? Yeah. Oh, he, he still might not be, but hopefully he is. Cube! Oh, wait, did we send you a gyroid? <gasps> we sent you this gyroid, didn't we? I'm sure we did. Maury, you can hang out all day, but I'm not going to serve you lunch, dude. Yeah, so what do you need me for? Pick up a Game Boy. Here's Pearl's Game Boy. So, think you could swing by Pearl's place for me? I'm counting on you, dude. No joke. Well, that about sums it up. I'm counting on you, dude. really want this Apple TV. It's so cool. Okay, I'm sure, I don't know if we did give him this one. But we definitely did. I was hoping he was going to put it in his house, but I don't know if they do do that. Okay, Pearl. Are you still down the bottom of the cliff? 
Whoa, getting stuck on the cliff. Pearl, where are you? There we go. Running in the bush. Oh, Maury, you're priceless, you know that? You're like a peppy little bag of fun, kitten. Enough idle chit-chat. Did you need something from me? Yeah, I've got your Game Boy. At long last. I don't believe it. You actually managed to get my Game Boy back? Impressive. Most impressive. You're incredible. You may take this stationery. Thank you, pal. We don't need stationery. But thank you. I do appreciate it. Snooty. Also wearing the default outfit, which we will sort out tomorrow. I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry right now, Sniff. Oh, oh, my mistake. It's Maury. I thought you were going to hit on me or some ask me a favour. I seem to be as popular with the boys and girls alike, you know. Everyone wants to be my friend. Ah, sometimes it's just too much, Sniff. By the by, did you need something? Uh, I need a job. I hate to disappoint you, but I really don't have any favours to ask of you. My apologies. No problem, but thank you for being super polite. Um, nothing, no animals live down here, no rocks here is there, so nothing to do in this corner of the map, but we do still need to find our money rock, how many more rocks are there, um, ah oh, here we go, this has got to be the one, oops, Yay, we found it! Quick, as quick as we can, as quick as we can, quick! We can never seem to get the 9 out, but we got 100, 1,100, 1,200, 2,200, 2,300, 12,300. Oh, and I missed what the last one was. Uh, we can swap it because we can literally just drop it in our wallet. There we go. So we got about 13,000 uh, 13, bells. That 30 wasn't from the rock. That was what we were already carrying, unfortunately. Yeah, 10,000. Awesome. And just quickly put these money in the wallet. We go and what we're going to do is we're going to try and write one letter to who haven't we written to yet lee we're just going to say welcome to moriland welcome to moriland from mori and we're going to put some uh put some fruit in there because i'm really hoping the fruit will prompt them to send us other fruit if we can find a fruit tree, that is. Right, here's a peach tree. So we're just going to grab a peach. And we are going to post this letter. Hopefully that will prompt us to get some foreign fruit in return. Foreign fruit is the most expensive, it earns the most money, so that is what we need. Uh, so we'll send this to Lee. Ah, yes, I see. Would you like to mail more letters? Uh, not today, thank you, Pelly. Welcome home, I help you. Um, we're all go also going to pay off some of our deposit. Um, how much should we pay? 88,000 bells, we still owe 88. So we're going to pay off probably 40,000, I think, should do it. Leave us 6,000, it's not so bad. Um, ooh, that kind of hurts. Um, that means you still owe 48,000 bells. Thank you. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, no, not today. Okay, so. I guess we should probably head back towards the camper, maybe. see how many paper we've got there um but oh what day is it is it saturday <gasps> that means kk slider should appear here later but um we might have to miss it this week because we are a day behind 
um, because of computer issues. So I think we'll have to wait till next week to meet KK, but we'll definitely do that. Um, let's head over here. Oh, Savannah. Finally out of your house. Hello. So what can I do for you, y'all? Give me a job. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I can't think of a single thing, y'all. Oh, Savannah, you look sad. Uh, oh, Snooty made it all the way back home. Snooty. Well, Maury, you ha uh, have you already sat down for your luncheon? By the by, did you need something? Uh, give me a job, please. I hate to disappoint you, but I really don't. I, I swear, the animals used to give you so much more work than this. There's a lot in there. Oh, well, it is a big kind of set of drawers. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to play one more game or two more games with the camper. Since the camper's here, we may as well try. Curly, please. Give, you've taken a lot of my items now. We need some items in return, okay? <laughs> yes, I've been waiting for someone to show up. I've heard there's lots of wildlife in this area. Do you know where the best viewing area is? What do you mean, just take a look around? Um, just take a look around. Yes, I've been waiting for someone to show up. I want to climb the summit of Mount Moriland, but I can't find the trailhead. Do you know where it is? You don't? I didn't know earlier and I still don't know. But I do want to play a game. Uh, yes, let's play a game, come on. I'm not stopping until we win some camping furniture. Great, I love uh, playing camping games. Here are the rules. I have some photos of animals. Okay, so it's got to be the bear. We haven't won one of these yet. Okay, let's have a look. But if you're wrong, then I get all the money you have on you. Okay. We're going to risk it. It's the bear. You think I took a picture of the bear? Ah, I guess you don't know. Oh, wow. I get all your money. That was like 6,000 pounds. A deal is a deal after all. Okay, what wallpaper do we get this time? A cabana wall. Nice. Okay, can we can we risk the cabana wall? Do we want to trade it for some camping furniture? Hey, what's up? Are you here to join for some fishing? Maybe. Fishing, huh? I wasn't planning on going fishing this trip. I actually think of trying to summit Mount Moriland. But I can't find the trail. Oh. Maybe you should use your compass. Oh, hey, what's up? Are you joining me? No, 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 no. No fishing. Fishing is banned for the rest of the day. Okay, so we lost all our money. We are now poor, but we do have a cabana wall. Right, we need... To... Oh, I don't suppose Buzz is going to be back at his house just yet. No. I can't believe we haven't had much work. One more job would be super, super good. Willio, you look happy. Hey, we meet again. Eh, bizarre. Anywho, you probably want something, don't you? So, what is it, bizarre? Give me a job, please. No. <laughs> Why has no one got any work? Okay, maybe Ellie. We haven't really spoken to Ellie all that much. Ah, perfect timing. This is a good sign. Good afternoon, Wee One. So tell me, Maury, what did you want, Wee One? Can I help out? I wish I had more flowers blooming around my house. Wouldn't, oh. Nothing as pleasant as living in the middle of a bunch of fragrant flowers, don't you think? Oh no, we've already bought all the flowers. Hmm, so close. And as we found out last episode, we can't dig up the flowers once we've planted them. Pearl, give me some good news. Ah, dear Maury, did you already have your lunch? Uh, actually, no, I'm a bit hungry. Let me think. No, I'm not a... F oh, no. No work. Good afternoon. What's going on, cutie? I need a favour. 
Yes, talk about time. I was just looking for someone who could do me a favor, cutie. I have this friend named Pearl who's been hanging onto my watch forever. I think maybe Pearl forgot about it because none of my hints seem to have worked. And I'm not subtle. And I hate to ask this, but can you go to talk to Pearl and get like back from me? Yeah, yeah, I'll handle it. Alrighty then. Don't forget now, cutie. I won't. I'm literally going to go right up here and get it right now. Where's her house gone? Pearl! I'm here to collect a watch. You've come to pick up the watch? Oh dear, kitten. This is sort of awkward. How should I put this? Cube took it. I'm sorry, but could you go to talk to Cube? I'm afraid that's the only way to go. No worries, Pearl. Cube, are you home? Are you still in your house? Hopefully. My pad is pretty darned cool, huh, dude? Yeah, cool. Yeah, so what did you need me for, dude? I'm picking up a watch, please. I'm not psyched to be the one to tell you this, but I don't have the watch anymore, dude. Uh-oh. Buzz came to hang out with me the other day and kind of took it. It was probably a mistake. Nobody takes me seriously, so you'd probably have better luck. Okay, we'll go. We'll go. We'll have better luck going to get it from Buzz. Although... Where was Buzz hanging out? I can't remember. He was down the cliff somewhere, wasn't he? Buzz, are you around here somewhere? We uh, Buzz, you're still chilling by the lake. Oh, Maury again. How wonderful for me, Captain. So then, Captain, why are you here? Picking up a watch. How many... Are you going to send me to someone else? Oh, no! Actually, Maury, Tybalt took the watch from me just the other day. I've never seen anyone so desperate to have something. And with it all begging, I, I just couldn't say no. Sorry to pass the buck here, but you're going to have to get it from Tybalt. Sorry, Captain. No problem. I feel like we could go around the entire town at this rate. Um, Tybalt, are you home? Could have sworn I heard him walking around. Oh, there he is. Talk to me. Sigh. What's the point? No, don't ask me why. I want to be left alone. No. How can we get it back if you're angry? Oh, Tybot. It's okay. Everything's going to be fine. You always look so happy. And I'm in the worst mood. I think I'm the saddest dude in all of Moriland. Oh. <laughs> Although looking at your silly grin makes me feel a little better, I think. Are you happy now? Huh? You again? Hey there. Hey, so what can I do for you, Mori? Okay, you seem to have cheered up, but I'm here to pick up a watch. It's not like I forgot about it or anything. Seriously, I've just been real busy, you know, doing my thing. If I go and give it to you, what this watch, you'll return it to Lee for me, right? Absolutely. So that's that. I'm waiting on you, Maury. Uh, where did you go? Did you go in your house? Lee's house. Lee, I lo absolutely love, love, love your house. Hola, how's your day, cutie? So, what's going on, cutie? Delivery. <laughs> Here is your watch. I've seen this before. Isn't it my watch, cutie? I just knew in my heart that you'd eventually uh, get it back eventually, but I never thought it'd be back so soon. Well, neither did I. At this point, we're going around about five villages. Now for your reward, you get furniture, cutie. Yeah. Maury, it's nice to know there are people like you willing to go the extra mile, cutie. No problem. Let's have a look. What did we get? Something cool? Oh, is that a plant? I think we got a plant. Let's check it out. It was a big task, to be fair, so hopefully it's a cool plant. Especially since we lost some furniture. We've got a bit of space now. Oh, cool! Yeah, I like that. Little aloe plant. Cool. Oops. No, stop picking things up. Um, and we need to just ditch our wallpaper. 
and we can ditch our... Oh, we'll keep the July ticket, actually. And we'll drop the pitfall. And we can get rid of these tomorrow. Awesome! Okay, I think that probably wraps it up for this video. We've had a reasonably successful episode. We, of course, checked out Nook... Uh, Nook and Go, sorry, the first upgrade to Nook's Cranny. Played a bunch of camping games and lost a lot of furniture. I believe the campers stay for the weekend, so they might be here tomorrow. Um, so we might be able to play some more games and hopefully win some camping furniture. And of course, we donated some a fossil and a bug, and we tried to do some chores, and we did a nice chore at the end that we <laughs> means we had to talk to five villagers. Um, oh, and also we found the pitfall. Yeah, so it's been reasonably successful. Tomorrow we will check out Nook and Go once again. We will try and pay off more of our debt and hopefully clear it, maybe, if we're lucky. Uh, and yeah, do some more chores. And also, also we will design a shirt tomorrow at the Able Sisters because all the villagers are wearing the default shirt. And we want them to wear something nice, so we'll do that tomorrow. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. It's an absolute pleasure. Um, I hope you're still enjoying it. It's really fun to play this game. I, I just love it so much. Um, of course, any criticisms, feedback, suggestions, tips you have, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next episode. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.